But finally, he got Ivy over here. And she's here with us on Gucci's Crazy World. So good to have you, Ivy. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. Wh- why was there so much paparazzi to get you over, though? Like security, bouncers, bodyguard, <laughs> DSS, only you. What's going on? What's all that about, though? <laughs> Link me up. Oh. Link me up. I can provide services. Maybe security guard or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but wh- why was it? Why was it? Um, did, did you find any difficulty locating our office, though? No, no, no. It was easy. No yeah, traffic was, in Lagos. There's a little traffic. I mean, it's Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to have you here finally for the first time. Thank you. Like our studio. Yes. It's, it's popping, right? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the first question I tend to always ask a lot of people, uh, they tend to differ. But I think I'm going to start with this one today because clearly I'm a foodie. Mm. So the first question I want to ask you today is, what did you have for lunch? Have you even had lunch? Well, yeah. yeah. Mm. Actually, what did you have for lunch? Um, what did I have for lunch? Yeah, uh, are, you, are you puzzled? Are you can you, are you trying to remember? Oh, you I'm don't. I to remember. Okay, I think it was jollof rice. I think. Yeah. Ah, jollof rice. You made it or you bought it? No, someone made it. So, <laughs> why was that something that you had to think about? <laughs> yeah, but was it good? Yeah, of course. Uh, they, it was just very spicy. Very spicy. Very All right. Spicy. The nice thing you would have done is to say, ah, I'm coming to the show. Let me bring for Gucci. But, you know, uh-huh. this, this, these are the issues. These are the problems. <laughs> Don't worry. Next time. <laughs> Next time, Abby. All right, then. So, um, I think um, it's the first time we're, we're getting to meet officially for this year. But the question that I'm sure a lot of people want to find out is, um, how was uh, 2023 for you, basically? The general overview. How was the year for you? Honestly, 2023 was an amazing year for me. I'm not going to lie. All right. I don't know why. Well, I mean... Like you said, people's opinions differ and people had, some people had, it was a bad year for some people. Yeah. But for me, it was a very amazing year. Mm. I mean, um, where do I even start? The trips. Ooh. Yeah, the trips. It was just fun. Mention a couple of places country. that you went to now. <laughs> mention, mention, let, let us know. Um, Paris. Paris. Italy. Mm. Um, UK. Okay. America. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, then, God Almighty. It was just, yeah, I think that was like the highlight of my year. And and then I started setting up my business as well. So mm. that was fun for me. Yeah. yeah. What, what business would that be? A fashion brand, actually. Fashion, obviously. Fashion I mean, brand. look at you, though. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, you, you told the world. You went to different parts of the country. Uh, you had your passport stamped a couple of times. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't say the same for myself, you know. we're gonna don't, don't ask me where I went to last year. It's a different conversation. But let's just move with it, all right? Uh, so, it was fun for you last year. But what about um, this year? What's your plan for this year, though? How's the year been shipping up for you, 2024? Mm. 2024. Well, mm. you know, I started off with so much energy. I was just very pumped for the year. Yeah. And then at some point this January, things just seemed a little bit slow. Uh-huh. But then, I mean, we are heading towards the end of January and things have picked up again. So um, I just finished setting up my store. That was yeah. that, that's like the highlight of my month. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's 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 beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you you had goals, objectives, and you managed to achieve a couple of them. But uh, let me let me ask though, um, what was the biggest challenge? I know you've said you pretty much had a very fantastic year for twenty twenty three. Yeah. But I mean, it does come with its uh, challenges, hurdles here and there, if any. What was the one challenge that you would say you faced in twenty twenty three? That's a good one. I actually had a couple of challenges. At yeah. Time. <laughs> One thing about me is that when I get over something, I just I just take it out of my mind and I don't even remember that ever happened. Mm. So I wouldn't even know what I would say was my biggest challenge. But I obviously had a lot of challenges last year. What has been the biggest amount you've made as a content creator? The biggest amount? Yes. At once or... Hey, God. This is what you say. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, so, so tell us at once and maybe... Cumulatively, you know, what, what's been the biggest amount? Cumulatively? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, it's so big, you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to say Don't it. worry, I'm not a kidnapper. You can tell you. Like Loki. No, 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 no. Loki, Loki, you're telling me like this. <laughs> but let, let's see, let me give you a, a, a ballpark figure, like a range. If it's heading there, you say yes. If it's lower than that, you okay, say okay. okay. So, okay, like um, because, because, because I know that, you know, IV is a very posh body i'm gonna ra- ra- <laughs> say it in dollars i'm not gonna do it in naira all right so uh, you tell me higher or lower a thousand dollars higher ten thousand dollars higher Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Please, for PA. Do, you, do you need pee in your life i'm, I'm you think it's laugh now <laughs> okay okay uh twenty five thousand dollars 
okay, I think around around, around that around that range. Around that range. Ah, you're poorly no. <laughs> I don't know. see the, how how does one dabble into kind of creation how do i say now i've seen the money this that ivy is making <laughs> let me make this money how do i start mm. well right now i feel like a lot of people are a lot of people want to be content creators now i feel like even everyone is a content creator now. sort of yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then i mean sorry just can you can you say that again? okay so if i wanted to be a kind of creator now what yeah. would you advise me to do to, to be a kind of creator you know what how did yeah. you start being a kind of creator okay first i'd say you have to do a lot of research all right yeah you don't just go into content creating and then mm-hmm. you have to know your niche you have to know what kind of audience you want you want mm-hmm. you know what what you derive joy doing okay you, know, you can create content around that all right and i would say you have to be really consistent because this social media is not playing with anybody exactly so, <laughs> there's that too so you mean, have to just be very consistent and not just being consistent and making content but you have to that's why i said you have to do your research because you have to deliver quality content mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. i'm not saying that as an as you're starting you should be there already mm. but, you know you have to try to be there okay yeah um, um where, where did you start from was it tiktok was it twitter was it instagram was it uh facebook where where did you start youtube even it was it was um instagram all right instagram and then from mm. instagram to tiktok but it mm. wasn't tiktok then it was musically yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. oh so you were already on it that, that, <laughs> I was, oh, yes, wow. I was. that's been a long time <laughs> yeah so yeah that's just that's where I started. Mm. And and I think I, I, I perused through your Instagram and I noticed you are close to about half a million followers mm. on Instagram <laughs> alone. Uh, yeah. Don't ask me how many I have on Instagram. <laughs> That's a conversation we're going to have off the air. But, you know, th- does, does that come with a sense of pride that, you know, a lot of people are following your page and they want to keep up with your... Uh, what, what it is you're doing, your content and all of that, does that come with inside of pride, do you think? Honestly, no. Sometimes I even forget that people know me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I could just randomly be walking on the street or just... Oh, come on, you don't randomly somewhere. walk on the street. I let's, do. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's be frank, you know. I mean, let's say the truth. What do you mean you're randomly walking on the street? <laughs> but for real, mm. or I can just go... Okay, let me not just say walking on the street. Or just, yeah. I, can, I could just go somewhere, mm-hmm. maybe a supermarket or something. And I just forget that maybe people know me. So when right. someone even walks up to me, I'm like, hi, are you this person? I'm like, mm. oh, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I feel, honestly. All right. So yeah. but what, what name do they call you when they see you, though? When people randomly meet you up, do they say, for example, people say Gucci, you mm. know? And But I mean, my mom, if my mom would just, what's this one? So what's this Gucci? <laughs> you know, but what do they call you when they see you on the road? Though? Yeah, most people call me Ivy, Ivy. which is like All my right. first name, which is uh-huh. the name they call me at home. Yeah. But some people call me Ifoma. All and right. sometimes, I mean, it's my name but sometimes yeah. I find it strange because I'm not used to people calling me for that name so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can understand yeah. um, w- what would you say is probably the most shocking thing um, because I mean social media is a very crazy world and there are a lot of a lot of times you you see very strange characters alright so what would you say probably has been the most shocking thing anyone has ever sent to your DMs <laughs> she said <laughs> she said <laughs> And, she, and, and her eyes wondered, like, if I stuck now. <laughs> but let, give us the gist. Give us the, mm. the, the, the you know. Because, I mean, like, you know when people are going to chop and cut these videos and post all over social media, it's going to go viral. You know, and they're going to quote you and say, ah, this is what you said. So I'm just letting you know now. So um, what, 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 would people, what did you see? And you're like, oh, my God, what is this? I've seen a lot. A lot. My eyes have seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us I've something. Seen, well... I mean, I don't really want to say, mm, say it, but, mm. but you know, especially when it was at the heat of the moment for me, yeah. I was getting a lot of, you know, bad DMs. People were just like randomly saying things about me. For okay, what, was it, were they sending you mean stuff or they were sending you very graphical images? Which were, were Okay, no, mean? not graphical images. All I right. mean, like, people were just typing and typing rubbish. Nonsense. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> funny enough, it was one of the questions I was going to pose as well. Okay. Um, when when you get a lot of insensitive comments on your post and maybe like you mentioned in your DMs as well, how do you handle it? Most times, I just overlook I overlook mm. them because at the end, it's your opinion and that you savvy. <laughs> so <laughs> so the, the, you, n- you never feel any type of way and say, oh man, this is very, very painful. What has been the meanest thing anyone has ever said to you on social media? Mm. Can you recollect? 
People are saying mean things to tell you. Tell, 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 tell us one. I, 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 but let's talk about this one that people like say that I'm a homewrecker. Ah, that I, one is the most painful because what's what? You, like, you, you, you know where do you get your me? facts from? They, they, they usually tell me that I'm the only one that doesn't have a car in this office. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes if uh, there was one interview I had with Rema and, you know, we're both from the same part of the country, Edo State. And then I took a picture and even my colleagues, <laughs> they had a couple of things to say <laughs> about that particular <laughs> You know, they had a couple of things to say about um, uh, uh, who was the bigger Edo boy. You know? <laughs> wow, wow. So, so, yeah, I can, I can understand when people say a lot of things that they may not perceive as uh, being mean, but there are some that really are, you know, they cut so deep and you know it's it's kind of hard to move past it but yeah. having that kind of thick skin to to endure is something worth um uh acknowledging but what has been the nicest thing anybody has said to you mm. as much as people have said mm. mean things to me a lot of people have also said nice things to me all right and you know it's like oh they love me they love my content they love what i do i inspire them yeah one or two ways yeah and those things really mean i when i get such messages they just really mean the world to me honestly. yeah yeah fantastic and again I, I feel like there's always a balance you know you you out with the uh, horrible and in with the uh, amazing yeah. sometimes you, when, when you see some nice messages people send you're like what did I even do that you're sending all these <laughs> messages but it is it is uh, interesting to get to see all of that happen and mm. really really uh, nice to get to have people send all of those messages to you uh, as an individual but do you, do you at any time perceive that people are slipping on your talents though like you know there's so many other things that you could possibly do besides being a content creator and people are unaware of the talent that you possess do you think that there's anything that you want to share that you know i'm also very great at this or that you know uh for example people just assume that oh, the only thing i can do is talk on the radio you mm-hmm. know they, they don't know that i don't if, if they put food here and i confess <laughs> 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 when it comes to see, let me know. Let me expose all my talents. But you know, let, what, what what about you? What else do uh, do you have as a talent that people are unaware of? Mm, well, um, most of the things I do, mm. I try to put it out there already. I mean, but just I'm just really digging into the beauty industry, mm. so I'm just oh, trying to learn. Okay. Obviously, yeah. Mm. But <laughs> I'm just trying to learn a lot of skills. All right. Yeah. Do Do you fancy yourself being an actor in the future? Is that in the works? Do you think you have the flair to do that or you don't want to even... No, nah, it's not for no, me. Honestly, I feel like I can. I, All right. like I can do that. But but yeah. you never thought about it or tried it or... I never tried it, mm-hmm. but I've obviously th- thought about it and I feel like, yeah, I can actually pull it off if I if brush, get the role. brush myself uh, off. Is that in the cards 2024? Do you think maybe? 2024? Mm. I don't know, but I mean, you can never tell what this year will bring, honestly, but... I mean, if it happens, I'll be happy. But All right. it's not really in my plan. Maybe later on. Later on. Yeah. All right. So, uh, quick question for you. It's not a trick question. Okay. Who is your favorite musician in Nigeria? <laughs> that I guarantee you, this was not premeditated. It was just a rap. He's looking at me like, I cut you. <laughs> so, I who is your... <laughs> No, you have to tell us who's your favorite okay. musician in Nigeria. Ah, okay. Just say your mind, though. Listen, I'll, I'll, just say, I'll say your mind. My mind uh-huh. right. Say your mind. Don't, don't look at anybody's face. Just <laughs> see it. Ah, look. I mean, I feel like those that know me actually know. Uh huh. My number one would be Victoni. Vic- Ooh. Yeah. I mean, his voice is just heavenly. I don't know how to explain it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any anybody else? Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to share? I mean, like you mentioned one. Let's let's just let's, let's do three. You mm, know, okay. Just just because. Well, I mean, Rude Boy is definitely going to be on the list. Wow! <laughs> surprise! Surprise! <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Really? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Rude Boy number two. Yeah. Uh, the reason I person. said that because. If you listen to it, the lyrics of his songs, yeah, yeah. they always make sense. Like, right. They have a meaning yeah. as opposed to what we hear nowadays. Everybody like just, who mention mention mention. Let me not say. All right, all right. Uh, the third person, who, your your third fave in the music industry uh, in Nigeria, right? Nigeria, yes. Yeah, um, I have a couple of them. Who would I? I mean, um, maybe I would say Ira. 
Aha. So it's a balance. I was waiting for you to mention a female. So Ira, <laughs> definitely number three. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Um, I, I'm sure Ira is on my list as well. I have a, a litany of them. I can't even start to mention other people that are my faves, you know. But Rema is there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rema is right there. As, as <laughs> They will beat me in this office. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, I also want to ask concerning music, though. Is, is music something when, when you when you think music, the first thing that comes to your mind is it you just having a party or having a good time, or does it have a deeper meaning for you? Do you have um, for I mean, like for for me, the best way to go to sleep when I can't find sleep is to listen to Billie Eilish. Mm. Easy, hit the <laughs> bed one time. I'm asleep, you know. Mm. So what what else does music do for you, though? Well, music is therapy to me. All right. I listen to music when I'm doing everything. And even when I'm sleeping, I love music. So, All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, last question. Again, I'm not, not the trick question. All right. <laughs> uh, Valentine is coming. Hey. Where's your, your boyfriend? You're <laughs> you no. <laughs> no. Okay, so um, are you in love? Of course. Of course? Oh, wow. <laughs> really? I, I, I didn't know that. Wow. Surprise, surprise. surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So I, 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 I don't know if I saw um, pajamas pictures on your page <laughs> uh, Christmas, but are we going to see uh, Valentine pictures? You got to say it now so that single people like us will just know how we are going to avoid your page on that day, you know? I mean, like, I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell, All I right. guess. All right. <laughs> but yes, I, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, um, a lot of people who are big fans of yours uh, on social media, and of course, like you said, they met you in real life and they, they, they really do love you, would be listening right now and be encouraged by your journey as a kind of creator. And is there anything you would love them to know um, about you that people are not aware of? Maybe there's something that is really, really intriguing about you that people aren't aware of. I think for, for people know that I'm a very goofy person. People know that I'm a foodie. But one thing I think people are unaware of is that I'm a very emotional person. But I don't know, mm. they, they, they find it hard to believe. You know? So <laughs> is, there, is there something about you that people do not know? Like you said, I'm actually an emotional person. Don't be copying me. Say your no, own. Say... I'm coming now. Uh -huh. All right, say it. Say it. <laughs> I'm an emotional person. Right. I don't like saying it outside because I don't like feeling too vulnerable in front of people. So, oh, okay. Yeah. But that one. And I would also want to say that, I mean, there's more that, that means the eye. Yeah. Honestly. I, mean, I mean, it's not just all glitz and glam like mm. you see on social media and and stuff. I mean, people... People are people. I'm still, I'm still a person. I still mm. have my downtime. Yeah. But I'm not going to post that on social media. Okay. So if you see me glowing and shining, don't just think that that's, <laughs> that's how, how it goes my life is. Seven. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I totally understand. Um, we really have to wrap it up right now because if we continue, I mean, I'm sure that there's so much more that we have to say. Uh -huh, let me just quickly add. What's your favorite food? I don't have a favorite. Do you have a favorite food? food? Yeah. Oh wow. I'm very. I'm an. I'm a very indecisive person. So I don't have much favorite so today it could be pounded yam tomorrow it could be yamala next tomorrow it could be something else yeah but not pounded yam and yamala uh, okay <laughs> so what, what would it be what would it be jollof fries stir fry nigerian food is just i'm tired of nigerian food uh, well when you've gone to Paris <laughs> and italy and the uk you be uh, don't worry the day i go to ghana i'll be tired of all this don't worry don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> 